I'm Tiffany Brar. I'm the founder of Jodhirgamaya Foundation. But let me take you back in time. Good morning, children. Sit down. Turn your page, turn your books to page number 71 and look at the diagram. Achha, beta, aap piche baith jao. Aap se to nahi hoga. Aap to, aapko to dikta nahi hai na, beta, piche baith jao. Yes. The next period. Achha, children, what is the capital of India? I stood up and said, New Delhi. But my friend said something else. I was admonished and thrown out of the class. Because I was accused of making my friend give the wrong answer so that I could give the right answer. Then came the games period. Again, Achha, beta, aap khade ho jao, aap se nahi hoga. So again, I was the odd man out. I went back home and I told my parents, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm not going to this school anymore. So my parents tried to ch chop and change me into different schools. Some were inclusive, some were blind schools with very difficult conditions. A lot of hardships I had to undergo with receiving braille notes, with re knowing what tactile diagrams were, with sitting on the floor to study, doing so much of different, different things. Later, my father went to fight the Kargil war. I and my mother were alone. After two years, my mother also decided to go. Where did she go? She went up to her maker, who decided to call her earlier than time. I then chopped and changed from hostel to hostel, from school to school, not even knowing how to perform my daily living skills while my dad was busy guarding the borders. We then went to Uti, where I met Vinita Akka, who was like a mother for me, who taught me everything about menstrual hygiene, grooming, daily living skills. I studied in the mainstream army school, and I topped the CBSC board exams without any help. But that was in humanity subjects, no science subjects, because we could not take science. Science taking was unthinkable in those days, unlike now, where there are so many facilities, so many people making STEM curriculum accessible. I then pursued my degree in English. I worked with Braille Without Borders, an organization working for training people to become social entrepreneurs, also founded by a very th thriving blind social activist, Abriet and Birkin, and her partner. I worked there, and then I went for pursuing my special education. I went on weekends for teaching blind people in the blind school. I went to people's houses, and then I thought of an idea which I had derived from Mr. N. Krishnaswamy of Tamil Nadu, a mobile blind school. If the people can't go to the school or training center, we should go to them. I started traveling to various houses, to various people, bringing them out of their comfort zones, enabling them to use this white cane, enabling them to speak for themselves, to learn how to use a computer. We brought two uneducated boys, Vinod and Anish, out of their houses. We started the Jodhargamaya Foundation in 2015 as a charitable trust after I left Kantari in order to start my independent organization. I would, I would now request my sighted colleagues to kindly show the slides. We have various activities in Jodhargamaya. We teach computers, we teach Android, we teach the use of various social media apps. Hey, you guys only can't use Instagram and WhatsApp, so can we. As blind people, everything is accessible. But there are many apps which are still not accessible for blind people. We brought, we know that Anish, coming back to them, outside their comfort zone. They had never been to school, they had never seen the threshold of a classroom. They stayed at Jodhargamaya, they studied computers, they learned mobility, they learned a little bit of braille, and we made them confident 
through our residential training and road to independence camps in various districts. They were the pioneers. And later on, they started teaching me how to back up my apps and messages in Google Drive. Uh, hey, it had turned reverse. And now they both hold jobs and are breadwinners of their families. This is what Jodhir Gamaya does. We hold a four to six months residential training course at a rented building in Tiruvananthapuram where we give blind people a fully residential experience of access technology, orientation, mobility, interpersonal skills, yoga, and other extra activities. I'm a lover of adventure. I have done skydiving, paragliding, and tandem cycling. We encourage our students also for pursuing such kind of activities. We take them for adventure trips and tours. Why can't they enjoy the world? And that is when I came across in 2020, the IIS, the India Inclusion Fellowship and the India Inclusion Summit. This has now become a family for me. I felt so inclusive here, dancing, singing, cooking, doing everything. Its founders and pioneers, Arun and Feroz are like my own siblings. Besides my Vinita Didi's children, I have two more siblings now, two more brothers, and all the fellows, everyone, everyone here has made me feel so welcome. I would like to acknowledge each and every person, even Anshu Gupta sir, who has helped me and helped my students at the pandemic time. Thank you.